Hi guys, I hope that you're all doing really well. So today I am going back to my roots and I'm going to share with you guys some designer fragrances that I just absolutely love. Now, if you've been following me on TikTok, I have been talking a lot recently about the fact that I'm kind of re-entering my designer era and there is a lot that I can say about it, but I'm not going to. But the short of it is I am a little bit kind of tired of niche and like the niche industry. I feel like there are just too many brands, not really very well thought out releases. I feel like it's a lot of kind of, for me, it feels very much like overconsumption, the niche industry right now. Anyway, coming back to this topic. I am, for some reason, really falling back in love with designer fragrances and I really genuinely mean that, you guys. Like, in the past few weeks, I have bought multiple designer fragrances. I am lucky to do that, but I am so happy about it, you guys. Especially, if I'm going to be honest with you guys, I am buying a lot of the exclusive collections. Like, I recently bought four Chanel exclusives and I am completely in love with them. I cannot even express it enough to you guys. But not only that, I'm also purchasing just regular designer fragrances. Like today I placed an order for a discounted bottle of Dior Homme Intense, uh, Prada Paradox, etc. Like I just, I'm really enjoying my designer fragrances. So I wanted to go through some with you guys today. Some old, some new, some discontinued unfortunately. But I just wanted to talk with you guys about designer fragrances that I personally love. There are, of course, a lot more fragrances, designer fragrances that I love that I don't have here with me today, but I will make sure that I purchase those bottles and I talk about them on my channel in the future. So get ready for some more designer content coming back for you guys. Um, I just, yeah, I'm always going to love niche. Of course, I'm always going to love niche and I'm always going to talk about niche, but I do really want to incorporate more designer content back into my channel. I do want to mention that a small part of this video is in collaboration with Ideal Jewelry. You guys know I have worked with this brand a few times in the past and I just love their pieces. If you guys go back in like a lot of my videos, I am either wearing Ideal or one other brand, but I have been loving, like I cannot even tell you guys, I have been loving just a classic stud right now. I am really in an era, like I said, loving my designer fragrances, but also this kind of timeless and classic vibe has bled into my fashion and my fashion choices. Like you guys can see, like maybe you think it's a bit lame, but I'm loving this kind of headband, very like simple, kind of clean cut um, outfits, all of that sort of stuff right now. Coming back to Ideal, I have been wearing their studs non-stop, you guys. Like I swear to you guys, I have not taken them out. I'm showering in them. I'm sleeping in them. I just really miss having a piece of jewelry that is easy to wear, that complements any outfit. And that's why I'm wearing these studs almost every single day. And today, for the purpose of the video, I did put the ear cuff on as well. I will zoom in so that you guys can see how it looks. But I am also, whenever I want to go for something a little bit more trendy, a little bit more high fashion, I will go for this, the, uh, the ear cuff and it is just so beautiful. And I always get a compliment when I wear this specific ear cuff, you guys. So yeah, I just wanted to quickly show you guys that. Also, guys, look at how magnificent this necklace is. Once again, I'm going to zoom in so you guys can see. But this necklace is literally my dream necklace. It is an emerald cut diamond. It is so beautiful and just simple and chic. And I'm just totally obsessed with it. Also, I wanted to mention that Ideal Jewelry is a 100% sustainable brand. They actually use lab grown diamonds and also their packaging from A to Z, the brand is 100% sustainable. So that is something that I do really appreciate and love about the brand. Myself, I am a big um, advocate for Lab Grown Diamonds. I don't know about you guys, but for me, like personally, whenever I go and get like a piece of jewelry custom made and stuff, I always go for a Lab Grown Diamond. So that's why I love the company, the quality of the pieces, you guys. I would never talk about a brand that I don't 100% believe in, and I truly mean that. The pieces are so 
beautiful and high quality and flawless to me. The business model behind Ideal is very interesting to me and it's something that I love about the company. Everything is customizable. Everything is customizable. So let's say you buy the gold chain for the necklace, then you can buy a bunch of different pendants, whether you want this diamond, you want to have the letter of your first name. There are all different pieces that you can buy and customize to your taste. The earring is a great example as well. You can buy the stud in small, medium and large, and then you can kind of customize what sort of pieces that you have. I'm actually going to show you guys on camera right now so that you can see. You can customize absolutely everything. Like, look at how cool this piece is right here. I'm going to zoom you guys in once again so that you can see it. But this is just absolutely incredible. Like, let's say you wanted to have like a fun ear and a more serious ear. You can do it. Like I said, I cannot stop wearing them. They're just so comfortable and easy to wear. And personally, I love a classic stud. And the good thing is that I have now three different sizes. So if I want like very, very like a simple look day to day, I can wear the smaller one. But lately I have just been wearing the big ones like this. So that is it guys. Please, please, if you trust me and you like the things that I recommend, I genuinely hand on my heart, trust this company. I love it so much. I wear the pieces. That is the proof right there. I wear them all the time and I really do love the company. And they also always have kind of special discounts and offers going on. So make sure to check out the website and see if there is any sort of codes or whatever that you guys can use if you wanted to purchase anything from them. So that is it guys. Let's now get into the video. I think I'm going to start right here. I cannot tell you guys how long I have wanted to own this fragrance and I can't believe it's taking me so long to buy it. This is Prada Candy. For me, this is the early 2000s scent. This fragrance is absolutely phenomenal, you guys, and I love it so much and I am so happy to finally own a bottle. Like, I always wanted to have this fragrance and I don't know why it took me so long to get it. If you've never smelled Prada Candy, this fragrance is absolutely iconic. It is a delicious, really smooth caramel fragrance. For me personally, I also pick up an iris note in here. For me, this smells like a very warm, not overly sweet caramel wrapped in a blanket of iris. And it is so addictive, you guys, and comforting and cozy and warm. And I just love it so much. I cannot even tell you guys how much I love this one. Now, the only thing that lets down this fragrance for me is the longevity and projection. For me, it lasts around five hours on my skin. Like, really, guys, the longevity is not good at all. But I don't care because I love the fragrance. I bought a small bottle so that I could take it with me and top it up if I wanted to do so. And I just love this so much. It smells so nostalgic to me. And it just smells... Like, I miss designer fragrances like this. I really miss designer fragrance releases from the kind of 20, 2008, 2006. Like, I miss those designer fragrances. I really, really miss them. And I think that that's why I'm kind of diving back into designer scents because I'm missing the quality, the creativity, the comfort, the nostalgia all of those really great designer fragrances that we used to get from the brand. So this is an absolute staple for me. I'm so happy to have it. Can't wait to wear it in the fall. And yeah, Prada Candy, I adore this one, you guys. What would a Demi video be without speaking about Coco Noir from Chanel? I wanted to mention this one because for me, this scent is like the quintessential fall fragrance for me. If I lived somewhere like New York, which was always a dream of mine, actually, I always wanted to live in New York. I love the city so much. I know that, you know, everybody kind of says that and maybe it's not the same if you live there. And I totally get that. But if I lived somewhere like New York and I experienced the fall like you do in the US, I would be wearing Coco Noir all throughout the fall time. This is a stunning rose patchouli with some sandalwood, a bit of a resinous touch. It's warm, it's very chic. Oh my gosh, guys, like this is just such a chic and elegant fragrance. 
I remember smelling this when I was much younger and thinking like, wow, that is a scent for a woman. And now that I am a woman, like I really, whenever I wear this fragrance, I feel so powerful and sexy, but in a very elegant way. And I love feeling like that from a fragrance. So for me, this is just the most beautiful rose patchouli with some spice, very warm, slightly resinous woody it's just fantastic you guys so coco noir from chanel definitely a design art that i will always love and always recommend and i also love many other fragrances from chanel you guys right now i'm loving the exclusives like le lion coromandel etc but i do love some others like number 19 coudre is beautiful obviously coco mademoiselle etc i love a lot from chanel and i think i will purchase quite a few more and add them to my collection but next up i'm going to talk about an og and a fragrance that whenever i smell it it brings me back to just such good times you guys it is mon Guerlain from Guerlain. i still rate this fragrance i still think it's one of the most beautiful designer fragrances this is uh, a new bottle for me i had i think i went through one entire bottle when i was living in australia when it first came out, I was obsessed with this fragrance. I could not just, I could not even comprehend how beautiful this scent was. Mont Guerlain is an aromatic vanilla with some iris. So it's aromatic, it's sweet, slightly powdery as well. It just, once again, it smells so beautiful. Very elegant, very comforting, very nostalgic. It is absolutely phenomenal. It's still a fragrance that I recommend to this day. If you're getting married, if you want a signature scent that's very elegant and timeless, it is just so beautiful. And it was actually one of the first designer fragrances for women that was really utilizing the note of lavender as like the protagonist in the scent. This was one of the first and it definitely set a trend for lavender dominant scents for women. And I just love it so much, you guys. Longevity projection is pretty good on my skin. I get around seven hours. I actually love wearing this one to bed. I think because of that lavender note, it's very comforting to me. So I just blind bought a new designer fragrance because I am designer Demi Era is back and I am staying. So the fragrance that I blind bought is from Hermes and it is their newest release called Barenia. First of all, look at the bottle. It is just so chic and elegant. You cannot go wrong with an Hermes fragrance. For me, all of the Hermes fragrances have something so timeless, so elegant, so classic about them. And there are many that I have on my wish list. If you are a fan of patchouli, please check out Baranya. It is absolutely Oh my gosh, it is absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous, you guys. What you're going to get with this scent is a slightly fruity, but not fruity in a sweet, synthetic, sticky way. For me, I get more of like a plum vibe from this scent, like more of a plum berry, like a dark berry vibe mixed with Akigala wood. Akigala wood is a captive from Givadon. So this is a patterned raw material from Givadon. And Aki Gullawood smells a little bit like patchouli with some woodiness. Like there is a touch of oud in Aki Gullawood, but you don't really smell it at all. It mostly smells like this woody patchouli. So you definitely get a patchouli vibe from Barenya mixed with that kind of dark berry tone. And there is also white ginger lily. So you get this gorgeous kind of ship fragrance and it is just phenomenal, you guys. It's slightly sweet, very warm, a little bit fruity, very woody. Oh my gosh, like heaven in a bottle to me, you guys. Like really, I am so impressed with this fragrance and I am totally in love with it. Longevity projection is okay. It's not a beast mode fragrance on my skin. I would say I get around seven hours, but it definitely lasts longer on my clothes with a softer projection. Next up, we have to talk about Jazz Club. I always recommend this to the men that follow me. But Jazz Club for me, guys, is a very unisex fragrance. If you are a woman who likes something sexy, dark, slightly more androgynous, maybe, you have to check out Jazz Club. To me, this is one of the most addictive fragrances that I own in my entire collection. And I don't say that lightly. And that is my personal opinion. I have to always preface it because fragrance is so subjective and I'm giving you guys my opinion. Jazz Club to me is just so addictive. I cannot even explain it. I get this like 
boozy, creamy, woody, slightly sweet, warm, spicy, just blend of deliciousness. And I just love it so much. Like I cannot even tell you guys enough. I love wearing this one when the weather starts to cool down. I feel like it really shines. Once again, if, if I lived in a city like New York, this would be like a scent that I would wear if I was going on a date to like a really, really cool kind of trendy bar, I would be wearing Jazz Club. It is gorgeous and the longevity projection for me on my skin is really good. I personally get around eight hours of really good wear from Jazz Club with a great projection as well, probably within my arm's length. So definitely recommend it. So sexy. For me, this is the best fragrance from Margiela. Um, I've tried all of them. There is a few others that I do like. However, for me, Jazz Club is by far the best. This right here, this right here, I don't actually think I have spoken about this on my YouTube channel. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys, but I have spoken about this on TikTok a few times. This fragrance is so delicious. So freaking delicious, you guys. I remember when I first tried it, I was absolutely blown away. I was at an airport. I think I was at the Nice airport, um, the, like the duty free. And I remember looking at the bottle and being like, okay, here we go. Another fruity floral. I sprayed it, smelled it. And I was like, oh, I need a bottle immediately. If you haven't tried Devotion yet, let this be your sign to try it. This is the most delicious gourmand fragrance. And it is just fantastic. This fragrance was created by Olivier Crest, who is very well known for his gourmand fragrances. He was the man who created Angel from Thierry Mugler, which was the first ever uh, gourmand fragrance ever created. If you have not smelled Devotion yet, this is a gorgeous take on like a citrus gourmand. So think of things like Lyra from Casamirati, Bake from Acro, who is of course the same perfumer that created this one. All of those kind of very um, kind of multifaceted gourmands that have this contrast of the brightness and the sweetness, that is what you're going to get with Devotion from Dolce & Gabbana. A lot of people as well think that this smells like the lush super milk hair thing. And I do agree there is definitely a similarity between the scents. But guys, this fragrance is just fantastic. If you wanted an accessible, but a really, really good gourmand fragrance, you have to try Devotion. You have the citrus. I think there's some orange blossom. You have some vanilla. It feels, yeah, a little bit fresh in the opening, but then it dries down to this delicious creamy vanilla. And oh my gosh, is it intoxicating. For me, it lasts around seven hours or so with a soft projection. But if you spray this one on your clothes, it will definitely linger um, on your clothes for days, actually. It lasts on your clothes for a long time. So I definitely recommend this one to you guys, especially for the upcoming fall and winter. You need to get this one in your collection. She is beautiful. She is gorgeous. She deserves all the hype. I love it, but be careful. Don't blind buy this one unless you know that you like a citrus gourmand because some people hate the note of orange blossom. They don't like sweet and citrus scents. So be very careful. Don't blind buy it, but it is absolutely delectable on the skin. Okay, guys. So this fragrance for me is a fragrance that when I was younger, I smelled so many times and I never thought I would ever be ready or mature enough to wear the fragrance. I always respected it. I always loved kind of smelling it in the air and on Tessa strips, but I never thought I would be the type of person to wear the scent myself until recently. This is Prada Infusion the Iris. And guys, for me, this scent is the epitome of class elegance and sophistication now i do want to preface it by saying i don't think this fragrance is for everyone like i do think that you have to be either an iris lover like you have to love your iris fragrances or you have to be into a little bit more of classic perfumery to enjoy this one prada infusion the iris is so chic to me like this is really like the woman that i aspire to be and that is exactly what it smells like. This is a gorgeous iris fragrance. It's powdery, slightly lipsticky, woody, very smooth, very soft, very comforting, cocooning, effortlessly chic. If you are wearing Prada Infusion to Iris, I immediately respect you because this scent is just so effortless. It feels so just elegant to wear this scent and it is so, so beautiful. 
It's powdery, it's soft, slightly musky, woody. It's just beautiful, you guys. And I really, really recommend this one to iris lovers or to somebody who is more into classic perfumery you will adore Prada Infusion the Iris. This one is gorgeous. I told myself that I was not gonna talk about this one because it is discontinued. But if I think about it, I cannot not mention this scent as one of the best designer releases in the entire world, in my opinion. This is Angel Muse from Moog Lab. A Kantan Bish creation, by the way. Kantan Bish was doing masterpieces way before Delina. So this fragrance to me, guys, is an absolute masterpiece. I cannot even tell you how much I love this scent and I love it even more now that I have been in this industry for eight years. I love this fragrance even more now and I, I admire just everything about it. To me, this is truly, guys, one of the best fragrances I've ever smelled. And I'm sorry to say that. Please don't go on eBay and buy this fragrance for like $1,000 or something. Please don't do that. It's not worth it. But if you could ever get a little sample and just put your nose on it, this fragrance is spectacular and so special. What you get with Angel Muse is this Nutella hazelnut, slightly patchouli-esque vibe. Oh my gosh. Like when I smell it, it's like a drug for me. Like truly this fragrance is just spectacular. It's one of the fragrances that I will go to my collection, open up the cup and just inhale it to get, I don't know, like a sensation from this scent. You have this kind of cacao hazelnut spread in here. So it kind of smells like Nutella mixed with this slightly kind of patchouli woody base. I think you also have some vetiver in here, so it brings, it kind of comes a little bit nutty as well. Just a 12 out of 10 fragrance, I cannot say it. I, I didn't want to talk about it because it's discontinued, but I just wanted to mention that for me, this is literally one of the best fragrances ever created, and I will love it till the day that I am not here anymore. Another fragrance that I bought myself recently in the last six months or so is Burberry Goddess. I absolutely adore Burberry Goddess. I love, love, love this fragrance. However, I am really disappointed with the longevity of this scent. I love the way that it smells. I think it is such a great release. Um, I bought it, so I must have loved it, but I am slightly disappointed with the longevity of this fragrance. To me, this is a slightly fruity vanilla with some lavender. I know that that sounds a little bit weird, but to me, I definitely pick up like a slight fruitiness mixed with the vanilla and the lavender in here. It is absolutely gorgeous. And I want to tell you guys something right now that is extremely important for you guys to know. The dry down of Burberry Goddess smells very similar to Silk Santel from Kayali. The dry down of those fragrances, I don't know if anybody else has pulled this kind of comparison yet. The dry down smell very similar. I love Silk Santal from Kaoli, but it has been, I think it was like a limited edition. Burberry Goddess has a very similar dry down. So I just want to tell you guys that in case you were sad that you didn't get Silk Santal, the dry down of this smells really similar. Um, but I love the scent. I adore it. It's sweet. It's sexy. It's very flirtatious. This is the type of scent that I would classify as flirtatious, but unfortunately the longevity and projection does let down the fragrance. And if you guys are wondering if I've tried the intense or parfum version of this one, I tried it in France and there was way too much lavender for me. It felt very masculine, the, the um, uh, parfum version of this scent. It felt extremely masculine. So for me, it was a miss, but the original, I love it but I wish it lasted longer. Next up, I could not make this video without talking about Tom Ford Noir Pour Femme. My gosh, you guys, like there is a lot from Tom Ford I could have spoken about. Black Orchid, Velvet Orchid, White Patchouli. There is a bunch that I love. Obviously the private blends as well, but I'm not talking about private collections in this video. But the one that I love is Tom Ford Noir Pour Femme. There is something so sexy about this scent you guys like it makes me blush how sexy this is and whenever i wear this scent around pierre he always gives me a compliment on this fragrance what you're gonna get with noir pour femme is this kind of spicy ambery dark almost earthy fragrance and it is just spectacular to me it's smooth it's sweet it's spicy it's powerful it's sexy it's commanding this is the sort of scent that I recommend on a date 
for a night out once again somewhere where you want to kind of be perceived maybe a little bit more sexy a little bit more mysterious I am just in love with this scent and again this is a sort of scent that I would say is like quintessentially fall like this scent just fits the fall time so perfectly so definitely check it out if you like a more spicy ambery kind of scent you're going to love Tom Ford Noir Pour Femme it is gorgeous Longevity projection is pretty good. It lasts around seven hours, I would say, on my skin with a decent projection. I love this scent so much. Next up, we have Narcisa Rodriguez Musk Noir Rose. You guys know that I am a Narcisa Rodriguez fangirl, so this was really hard for me to just include one. I love almost everything from Narcisa Rodriguez. I really resonate with the brand um, as a designer. I absolutely adore the brand. So. The one that I've probably worn the most in recent time is Musk Noir Rose. As you guys know, this is just, oh my gosh, like it is so flirtatious and sexy, this scent. Once again, this is a scent that I would classify as very flirty. It's smooth, it's musky, it's floral, it's creamy, it's sweet, but very airy. Like you feel a lot of different elements in this scent. Like it feels musky, it feels floral, it feels sweet. It feels a bit creamy in a way, very, very sexy, but it's airy. It feels light and it feels transparent and it's just gorgeous. This is a very popular fragrance in France right now. French people, they adore this scent, you guys. So if you ever wanted to know what French people wear, I'm gonna make a video on it. Actually, I did a TikTok, but I'm gonna make a YouTube video on it. French people love this scent. And if it's good enough for the French, Good enough for me. Longevity projection is good. It lasts around seven hours or so with a really good projection, actually. This one does project like within your arm's length so people can smell you with this one. Adore, adore, adore this one. I love it so much. Alien from Mugler. Let's talk about it quickly. This is to me one of the best fragrances in the entire world. I am kind of sad about Mugler because I feel like their releases in the early 2000s were so pivotal so iconic so incredible creative against the grain just absolutely everything that we need and obviously now you know with the industry and how it's changed i just don't feel like we get that anymore like we really don't the last creative thing that we saw from Mugler was aura which love it or hate it, it was very creative. Oh, uh, by the way, guys, I am really on the hunt for a bottle of Womanity. I really want Womanity. It is so spectacular and unique and gorgeous and phenomenal, and I need a bottle of that, but it's really hard to find in Dubai, actually. But coming back to Alien, this is the most just sexy floral fragrance I've ever smelled. It's ambery, it's jasmine, it's indolic, it's woody, it's powerful. It just is everything to me this scent i love it i wore it so much on so many nights out in australia when i was going out and i just love it so much so for me this is a 12 out of 10 fragrance that i still love to this day actually my sister um my sister jenna that lives in australia she was telling me that she just got a bottle of this and she's obsessed with alien like she loves it so much and i gift her a lot of niche fragrances but she's wearing, she's wearing this one. She's wearing Alien. But we have to talk about this fragrance right here. In recent years, this was probably one of the designer fragrances that shook me to my core. I was like, oh my gosh. When I found this fragrance and when I smelled it, I was blown away. This is Chloe uh, Nomad Jasmine Natural Intense. There is quite a lot um, of flankers, but the entire Nomad collection I am obsessed with the entire collection. I love it. Probably the only one that I don't like is their latest release, which is the Nubi Egypt or something like that. For me, it's a little bit too far away from like the original Nomad DNA for me, but I love everything from this collection. Nomad Jasmine Natural Intense is honestly, guys, one of my favorite like summer floral fragrances ever. Really, it is phenomenal. You guys all need to check this one out if you like the same scents as me. This is a sticky kind of sweet jasmine that has something very beachy and tropical about it. Like, I could swear that there is coconut in here. Like, or something along those lines. There is jasmine, vanilla, you have a date note in here, which brings that really warm kind of sweet element to the scent. 
but I really get a tropical vibe, you guys. Like, I get something very reminiscent of the south of France and all of the kind of beachy sort of smells. And, and it's just, every time that I smell this, I am so happy when I smell this scent. It is really gorgeous, you guys. Totally recommend this one. Longevity projection is okay. It's not a beast mode fragrance at all. It probably lasts around, I would say, seven hours on my skin with a soft projection. But I just, I adore this fragrance and I really recommend it. The entire Nomad collection. This fragrance I have spoken about for years. Let's quickly go through it. It is Shiseido Zen. Guys, if you've never smelled Shiseido Zen, you need to go and smell it. This is such a staple, an icon, a classic, a beautiful fragrance. It is a little bit similar to something like Coco Mademoiselle from Chanel. You have this beautiful, fresh and vibrant patchouli fragrance with some woods, some soft florals. It is spectacular. I received so many compliments wearing this scent that I cannot even tell you guys. This is my second bottle of it. My mom was obsessed with it. I was obsessed with it. Everyone in my life when I was living in Australia was obsessed with this scent. And really guys, like I'm not joking, every time I would wear this, somebody would be like, you smell amazing right now. What is that? And it was always Shiseido Zen. And the funny thing is that this fragrance, I could, I think I bought it for like, maybe like $30 or something. Like I found it really, really affordable. And I just love it. It's a gorgeous, really bright patchouli with some citrus, a little bit of florals, some woods, just a phenomenal fragrance that I recommend so much. And the longevity and projection on this one is fantastic on my skin. Around eight hours with a really good projection in the first couple of hours. And then it comes a little bit closer to the skin. 100% recommend this one. I have to talk about it. I don't know if this fragrance is discontinued. I'm pretty sure it is, but I think you can still find some bottles of it. But guys, I treasure this scent so much. I love, love, love it. This is Shalimar Souffle Intense. Oh my gosh, guys. Shalimar, okay, I have something to say. Shalimar is probably one of the only um, fragrances that I am so excited for them to release their flankers. Like, I am always so excited for a Shalimar flanker. I cannot get enough of them. Right now, the one that I really want to find is Shalimar Filp. If it is very weird to say. That that flanker, there was a bunch of others like the Parfum Initial. The flankers of Shalimar are always spectacular to me and I just, I love them. And this one is one of my absolute favorites. Shalimar Souffle Intense is this gorgeous vanilla with a very warm balsamic touch, but you also have some freshness in there. I think you have some orange blossom in the top, but then it dries down into this really gorgeous, really smooth, slightly balsamic vanilla. And it's just amazing, you guys. Like I, another fragrance that just feels so nostalgic and makes me so happy. There is no smokiness in here, like in the original Shalimar, nothing too um, abstract or anything like that. This is a really comforting and cozy vanilla with a little bit of freshness. So I love it so much. And I, if you ever find a bottle of this one, uh, go and smell it and buy it. It is absolutely beautiful. So that is it, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed this extremely long video. I'm so sorry that it was such a long video, but I, like I said, there's so much designer stuff that I want to talk about now. There's so many that I want to buy, so many that I want to experience again. And yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what designer content that you would like to see and I will absolutely feel it for you guys. And also don't forget to check out Ideal Jewelry. I don't know if you guys were as mesmerized as I am by this brand, but it is truly so beautiful and so worth it. So definitely check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching the video and I will talk to you soon. Bye.